Lightning Mike Quackenbush with Leonard F. Chakarasin, and I couldn't be more pleased to be calling for you right now, the 2011 Rey de Voladores Final between the 1-2-3 Kid and El Generico. There's a match I never thought in my days as a wrestling fan that I would ever get a chance to see, let alone call the action for El Generico. We've seen him many a times in Chikara, dating all the way back to 2005. The 1 2 3 Kid making a historic return here at King of Trios weekend. Not so successful in the King of Trios tournament itself, but he is one match away from being the 2011 Rene Voladores champion. Side headlock here to the 1 2 3 Kid. Double leg trip around the front he goes, making him carry his weight, the mark of a veteran wrestler. And Generico <laughs> trying to defend against a kick perhaps coming. Generico was a little leery there in regards to that. sportsmanship from the 1 2 3 kid. We've seen El Generico here in Chikaras recently, as just this past January, taking on Eddie Kingston. This is an entirely different contest that he is coming into here than that singles match he had with Eddie Kingston. I don't think the 1 2 3 kid has ever faced off with someone the likes of El Generico. Taking control of the wrist right now, the generic luchador himself, El Generico, has a standing wrist lock. A terrific technique. The one, two, three kid's gonna look to take the pressure off, but not before Generico switches to a side headlock here. It's gonna be very interesting to see how long this one takes to go to the skies. It looked like the kid was trying to use the ropes for a little bit of an assist to get out of this hold. Wait a minute. Used Bryce there for the assist, I guess. And Didn't back the ropes control. to the base, so he used Bryce. Right over the back, he went into an arm drag to the 1-2-3 kid. And this is a man, of course, we have watched throughout his career that's been televised around the world, the various incarnations of Sean Waltman. <laughs> and the, perhaps the most enduring of them all is this. The one, two, three kid. Ole indeed. Waltman has spent a lot of time in Mexico working for the Triple A promotion. I'm not the least bit surprised to see him pull the old Ole handshake. A favorite of mine as well. One, two, three kid though, definitely having some fun, but I'm hoping that he doesn't take El Generico too lightly coming into this contest. You mentioned the experience factor that he has over El Generico. But that, that, you know, that's been a key to Generico's game for as long as I've known him, that people take him lightly. Like, he's kind of lighthearted, he's a little goofy, he likes to have a laugh, and then all of a sudden he's dropping you on your head. <laughs> that is true, kicking your face off, dropping on your head. And that's the other thing, as you mentioned there, the fact that we have all seen the 1, 2, 3 kid growing up, many of us, many... Many of the people involved in Jakarta, whether it be behind the scenes or behind the barricade, may not even have been born when the 1-2-3 kid was in prominence. So they're in the ring. He's in the ring with a legend. They're seeing a legend in the ring. That would give you butterflies in your stomach. And the 1-2-3 kid almost had something else for El Generico. In his days as X-Pac, I suspect, which is all but second nature, I would imagine, to someone like Sean Waltman. Almost delivered the Bronco Buster to El Generico, who had the good sense to get out of Dodge. Generico, maybe, you can see from his body language here, a little bit of frustration set in, perhaps, in the early goings of this contest. Not really able to get any sort of clear advantage over the 1-2-3 kid. Waltman here back to the standing wrist lock. And Generico springs into action. As he springs to his feet, uses a double wrist clutch to take Waltman over. Arm drag over the top. Terrific execution. Oh, he psyched him right out around. It wasn't the Harocha. He turned it into a completely different arm drag. What a terrific display there from El Generico, the generic luchador. And he's impressed even the 1 2 3 kick. And this crowd here in South Philadelphia seems to be split between these two men. Not that I could blame them. And again, show of respect here out of the 1 2 3 kid. I had the opportunity this afternoon to chat a little bit with the 1 2 3 kid. And he told me this, which I did not know, that he considers the very best match of his career to be one that was televised on Monday Night Raw against then WWF champion Brett the Hitman Hart. A match I remember watching on television that I found to be an awe inspiring spectacle. And it is nothing short of awe inspiring right now to see someone like the 1 2 3 kid in a Chikara ring. 
He's escorted El Generico to the outside. Here comes the one, two, three, kid with a toe fake on Hilo. He just wiped El Generico out on the floor. Bryce Rumsberg, the referee, putting the count. But the one, two, three kid is up and in control of El Generico. I don't know where Generico is going here. Almost out of our point of view here. Difficult to see. Oh, Generico put the brakes on before hitting the ring post. Oh, oh and he I. elevated him there. And the one, two, three kid hit the post in about the most unfortunate manner possible, Leonard. And you can see, even Generico, I don't think, realizes when he tried to elevate him. Yeah, and Bryce was there, you know, obviously, it's his discretion, he's the referee in this contest. He, he was able to ascertain here that that was not done intentionally. You know, Generico was just trying to defend himself, of course, but very unfortunate for the 1-2-3 kid now. He is down and out as the count is being put on him. I think he only could have really tried to defend there, maybe by putting his foot out for the ring steps to stop himself, but it happened so very, very quickly. Wallman using the barricade here, trying to get to his feet, and he is in a world of pain. You can just see it etched on his face there, you are Mike. right about that. And especially here at Chikara, where we have the squared ring posts instead of the round ones. Oh, boy. I don't think it mattered what shape that ring post was in. Fair enough, fair enough. But Wallman has made it inside. Generico covers the one, two, three kid who was able to bring his left shoulder blade up off the mat, but the advantage here is still clearly in Generico's favor. Generico here now with things well at hand, you know, due to unfortunate circumstances, of course. Now looking to maybe put on a cravat here. You know, bring him to his feet is what he's got in mind. Generico has him up. Body slam right in the center of the ring. Immediately goes for the cover. Only a two count. And these fans here in South Philadelphia getting behind the one, two, three kid. As Mike mentioned, over his illustrious career has had so many fantastic contests, fantastic bouts, and he is in the middle of one right now with El Generico, one of the hottest stars in all of wrestling. Generico has Waltman placed down, the one, two, three kid. Generico now getting ready to go to the top. Split-legged moonsault, Waltman, one, two, three kid out of the way. Desperation there, missed the split-legged moonsault, Waltman needs to capitalize on that misstep by El Generico. You see Waltman there still feeling the effects of that unfortunate collision with the ring post. And all collisions that involve groin and ring post are unfortunate. Knife edge chop there, the one, two, three kid. Here come the kicks. A forearm now. He's got Generico down to the corner. He went for it before Mike. Well, Thought he was looking for the Bronco Buster again, as you mentioned before, Shades of X-Pac, but I think we're going to get more of those lightning-fast leg drops there. No surprise whatsoever. A man who was once referred to as the Lightning Kid just happens to have some lightning-fast leg drops. And look at that. That's a fair. You do not see that variation very often anymore. What a terrific lock he's got right there. He's totally controlling the head of El Generico. Yeah, it's got him like in a vice using his forearm there. Yeah, it's not quite a grommet either. I haven't seen that in forever. Terrific, terrific stuff here from the one, two, three kid as the crowd tries to rally support for El Generico. He breaks the hold into the ropes. Gets his head taken off there by the one, two, three kid. Great leaping leg lariat. But El Generico was able to raise his right shoulder up off the mat before referee Bryce Remsburg could register three. Now it's difficult to see from our vantage point here, but it looks like he's just gone back to a standard variation of the chin lock here on El Generico. As El Generico trying to get to his feet turns into a side headlock here. Generico back to his base, using his elbow to try and free himself. Knock the spit right out of Waltman's mouth. Cracks him upside the jaw, but Waltman returns fire. Generico has been in wars in recent years. The sport of professional wrestling, not to say that Sean Waltman, one, two, three kid, has it himself. Oh, the great equalizer goes to the eyes of El Generico. Now it's Generico with the leg lariat. Trying to create some distance here is the one, two, three kid. A veteran move. He slid out under the bottom strand here. But you've got to be careful. Generico can attack you from all aspects of the ring. Maybe, oh, suckered him in there. Shoulder attack to the midsection. He caught him square. Face Leonard. 
and tremendous what? velocity behind that kick. And the one, two, three kid has been rocked. He is on the floor. He pulled himself up again. He is very close to the barricade. Generico, something in mind here. Oh my goodness! They don't call him the Red Able and Orange for nothing. King of High Flyers. See it. Tremendous, it. tremendous reverse springboard moonsault. Reminiscent of Takamichi Noku. And El Generico is fired up, as is the Philly Faithful. Now there's a lot more people currently behind El Generico. One, two, three, Kid has taken a lot of punishment here in a short amount of time from El Generico thrown back into the ring. I'm sure in mind looking to finish off the one, two, three, Kid. Getting ready to ascend to the top rope here is Generico. High flying, high cross body. Whoa. Keeping his eye on the referee even while prone on the mat was the one, two, three, Kid. Another veteran move there. So right, knew he was in the center of the ring, didn't need to look for the ropes, knew he had to see where the referee was at all times. And now Generico, he's got him hooked. Trying to free himself from this predicament is the one, two, three kid. Goes for that Too high with that kick. Now Generico's got him. A blue thunderbomb. Whoa, so very, very close. He had both legs wrapped up trying to keep it down. But the one, two, three kid, the last possible second kicking out, getting that left shoulder up. And the fans here again in South Philly, behind both men. You gotta think in his storied career about all the various opponents, all the incredible, bizarre, innovative wrestling moves the one, two, three kid has seen in his day. But El Generico is known particularly for his unorthodox and unpredictable offense. And how do you defend against some of these moves? You cannot. Generic him right in the jaw. He had a head of steam coming in. Oh, we got him. Went for the Frankenstein. Back call with a Liger bomb. Wow, so very close. You could see how close Bryce's hand was to contacting the mat there on that Liger bomb by the one, two, three kid. And he had perfect form on that Liger bomb. Feet perfectly across the shoulders. Generico was wrapped up, but still able to kick out. Waltman, a little dazed, as mentioned, he's been taking a lot of punishment so far in this contest. Looking at the fans, looking at the crowd here in South Philadelphia, and looking to go to the top rope here. Very deliberate movements here by the one, two, three kid. Generico catches him. Mike, he's gotta be thinking about that brain buster here. He's, he's got, got him hooked in perfect position for it. Oh! Waltman was able to counter and he cradled him. Oh, very close. A great defensive maneuver there by the one, two, three kid to evade the corner brain buster. Yeah, he just threw his body off the top rope. And again, that's the definition of desperation of what you saw there. And he just drilled El Generico with that kick. And now has him in the corner, boot on the throat. Revving it up. The Bronco Buster! <laughs> Kicks him in the midsection. Look at that X-Factor! Cover grabs Once the leg! Enough. Not enough to put Generico away! And the execution was picturesque, Leonard! The Bronco Buster followed by the X-Factor has won Sean Waltman. One, two, three, kid, Xbox, call him what you will. Hundreds of matches. El Generico, though, kicked out, desperately reaching, trying to get to the ropes, maybe to pull himself up to his feet. And Waltman there, using the ropes to keep himself up. He is, he is desperate here, runs in. Oh, fatigue evident in his body language that he attempted that really high splash there. And now Generico, prime, runs in. Oh, he evaded, but he still managed to tag Waltman a little bit. That's right, got him in the midsection instead of what he intended. Yeah, he didn't get all of it. Generico now trying to keep him in place. If he can connect with that Yakuza kick, it could easily be a knockout. There, and now he got all of it. Waltman could not escape. Brainbuster in the center of the ring! Brainbuster! <laughs> and the one, two, three kid kicks out! Look at Bryce's face! Look at El Generico's body language! And look at the people here in South Philadelphia. They thought that was the end.
The combination Yakuza kick and brain buster has sealed the fate of many a man. But today in South Philadelphia, it was not enough to put away the one, two, three kid. Wait a minute. What's El Generico signaling for here? The razor's edge? That is what he's going for, Leonard. He's got him up. The razor's edge from El Generico. He got him. Oh, so close. Generico with the razor's edge. One, two, three, kid rolled him up with a crucifix and almost got Generico. Looked like Generico was going for it again. Another X Factor in the center of the ring. The point of Generico's forehead smacked the mat. Waltman going to the top rope. Generico back to his feet, though. He takes the one, two, three kid down. Could be, could be that brain buster. Maybe a superplex off the top rope here. He's trying to scale to the top strand. No! Super X! Generico defiantly keeping that hand up, saying no way. Waltman befuddled, perplexed. Once again, it's the one, two, three kid scaling the turnbuckle to the top rope. But the somersault senton failed in Leonard as El Generico tries to pull himself to his feet one more time. One, two, three, kid in the corner, Generico, head of steam. Oh, and he got him right underneath the jaw, and he's going for it, Mike. This time, could third time be the charm? Go for that top rope brain buster if he connects with this. This has got to be the end of the one, two, three, kid, Mike. Can he do it? 